Hi everyone, I'm Lauren from Single Barrel Soaps and today I am working on the April 2021 Soap Challenge Club challenge. Um, really excited about this one. I'm kind of whispering my kiddos are still up in bed. I don't think they're asleep, but they're in bed. So I'm trying to get this first part done. But the first part, this is the polka dot challenge. The first part is to pour a bottom layer. And then I'm planning on the, this afternoon is when I think it'll work, um, pulling out the straws and then pouring the rest. So I've laid out a template. I have a melt and pour bottom on the bottom of this mold for the um, straws to match in. I've secured it, so hopefully it's not moving. I plan to just do this in a nice black color. It's a blend of activated charcoal, um, black oxide, and black pearl from Nurture. I'm using the Brambleberry, Brambleberry fragrance oil, um, so I think that'd be really good. I'm just going to mix it up in here and then pour it into this. And I, I'm pretty sure I'll have leftovers, so the leftovers will go in here. But I'm gonna knock this out real quick before I have to get everyone up for the day. So let's get started. I'm gonna pour my lye and water solution in. There we go. And I didn't add my color first because um, I really wanted to see how it looks with the lye solution in. I don't want it to be too black that it'll um, kind of rub off on a washcloth. So let's get started. And I'm going to take this. I had pre-mixed all the colors in the soap um, a few days ago. So it's just in some avocado oil, which I use in my base recipe anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right, let's see how that looks. All right, I'm going to use all of it because I do want it to be a nice black color. I'm not looking for gray. I'm actually looking for a nice dark black, so we'll see. fragrance oil in and I'm not adding fragrance oil into the rest of the bar so everything that the straws are I'm gonna be colored so it is a little bit I went on the more of the medium to high range that I normally do I usually just ditch the medium um, small range for the amount of fragrance oil so I think this will be good now I'm gonna pour it into that was a thought, into here I might want it to set up a little more, honestly. Yeah, I think it's still too liquidy for me. All right, it's just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right, all right, I'm gonna let it be. If I keep messing with it, it's gonna be way too thick. But this is, I mean, Brimberry's fragrance oils are always, they always smell amazing and honestly, almost, they're, they're just, they really behave well. They, they, that's just the end of the day. They behave really, really well. Some are trickier, um, but all kind of fragrance oils are. Some get really loose, and then you have a small amount of time to work with, and they thicken up. But that's perfect for so many designs. That's so perfect. Um, and that's that's one of the things is once you kind of learn your fragrance oil and know what you're doing, you can base your designs around them. So I'm just going to put this at an angle. I'm just going to pour gently in there. Um, and I have left, so the mold that this template works with is smaller than this mold, but I, you can make holes, you can see where to pour, but I really, I'm way, I'm very much a visual person, so I wanted to be able to see what I was doing. And see this is starting to thicken up, which is nice. And then I'm going to tilt this, because this should not be up so high. I'm going to tilt the mold and take a look and see where everything is. Yeah, that was good. So I just had to push it. Just tilt it a little bit so all the soap get to the end. This is a bad. I guess if I had thought about it, I would have had this more in the middle so I go at both ends, but I think um, this gives it a little more stability for me. So 
So I know I'm going to have a lot left over. Um, I made the batch for the size that I usually make for this mold, and that fills it up to the top. And on this one, I have a melt and pour mat about this big on the bottom. So I knew even without the straws, I was going to have way more than I needed, but I'd always rather have more soap than less and have to go make more out of nowhere. All right. And I figure I will have extra and I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna put the extra in here, put a top over that, and then I think I'll have some of the extra colors so I can make some fun sample soaps from these. It'll be what it'll be. It's an experiment and I love that. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the little lid on this guy to cook. I'm gonna leave this right here. And I'll be back, uh, what is it, it is about 8 o'clock. I'll be back about 3 or 4 to take these out. I mean, honestly, I'm going to be checking out on the rest of the day. But I'm going to try to make them wait for that long. All right, so I'll be back. Let's just look and see. Oh, wow, that is terrible. What? <laughs> oh, that's Okay, well, I'm gonna be remaking this soap anyway, so let's just go for it because, and I'll put a picture up on the screen, well, that's just terrible. Because Mama never gives up. I don't, I don't. Yeah, probably sometimes even when I should, but we're gonna do that. Okay, all right, I'm gonna do a little bit of a... Okay, so since I'm redoing this batch anyway, because the side, I really should not have stick bladders so much in the morning. I knew that, but I did. So anyway, I am going to make up the batches, the color batches. I'm only gonna do it really to just, just to emulsion um, and separate out the colors and get them somewhat ready to go but not mixed in. And then I'll start pulling out the straws. I just wanna have this ready to go when I take the straws out. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take all the straws out and then I'll start pouring the soap. I'm gonna put these in here because I actually really like to use the straws again for my second attempt that I'm already planning. <laughs> All right, let's see how it looks. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, but I'm cutting it that way, so we'll see. And I'm just gonna start filling them in. I'm gonna, I'm planning on doing a rainbow order. Um, one, two, three, four, five, okay. So I'm just gonna go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, like that. So let's see how this does. I think that's as good as we're gonna get. Oh, it looks really pretty. So I'll spray it with rubbing alcohol, close it over, put the top on, and then I'm gonna use this for all of the extra soap batter I have, which I made extra on purpose in case I have to fill in holes. So I will be back tomorrow to unmold and figure out how to cut this. Bye. Okay, we're back the next day. Uh, so far, it looks good. Some of these didn't fill in all the way down, but it's not too bad. And little extra soap doughs I made look really good. So this should be fun. All right, so I'm gonna unmold this. I, I honestly have no idea what to expect. Okay. I have no idea. So this part is melt and pour. This is all melt and pour, so I'll have to cut that off. Okay, let me clean up. I don't really know what I'm doing yet or how I'm gonna cut this, but uh, I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, so obviously this is all gonna need to be planed when it's harder, so I just took my butter knife and I ran it along the bottom edge because I need to remove the melt and pour. So I'm gonna take my jumbo knife and try to cut down as straight as possible so my head's coming into frame. Pull this up and see if I got all the melting pour off. Oh, I did. And I can also see the holes for stuff that didn't go all the way through. Right, so that one it looks like I did the best on. Let's see. Well, 
I have all the soap dough to fill in the holes. That is annoying because that looks so good. Ah. All right, so I think my plan is gonna be, I'm just gonna end up cutting this in half here. I just don't, I don't trust my cutting skills. I'm really not great at it. This all here is because I over gelled it, it overheated. So that's kind of, I guess, neat to see too. <laughs> all right, so I am just sliding this through. Let's see, I'll try to put it in frame. And I just have it, I have it at the two and a half inch mark, so it's really just gonna take this part off. Oh! Oh! Well, that looks awesome. I mean, obviously, I've got a bunch of holes, but I, that's why I have the extra stuff over here to fix it. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> I'm seriously going to say I'm taking any wins I can get because it was just such a mess. Okay, so now I'm not sure. What I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm going to cut it in half, I think exactly in half, and then um, cut that in half. So I'm basically gonna make four soaps out of this. I think I'm going to measure, um, but I want to have enough room that I can trim the sides, clean everything up, and still have an actual bar of soap. You know, I don't wanna just have a sample size, like have a real size bar of soap. Okay, let me, and obviously, I mean, not obviously, but if I had made these all the way to the height it was supposed to, I would have a lot more options. I would have a lot more bars of soap, but that didn't happen. So let me uh, clean this up. And honestly, I'm just gonna lay up there once my bars of soap on top of here, like this one to see. So my carrying racks are right above my workstation. So, okay. So that wouldn't be that out of it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this directly in half and then I'm gonna use, I think, my multi-bar cutter um, just so they're even. Okay, let me, I love when I finally make a decision. Let me uh, get that all ready and I'll be back. Okay, so I've come to the point where really love this design. I really love how it turned out. I love all the colors. I do not have the energy to make soap dough and refill all of these holes. Just don't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'll save this. I'll play it. I'll do another project, another soap with this. Um, I'm going to take this as a learning experience and I'm going to try again with the exact same color, exact same design, all of that. And I'll try again. All right, so look forward to part two <laughs> in this video. So thank you guys for watching. Oh my gosh, but thank you. See, wait, which one's it? It's this one. I just, I just ignore this part. It looks so pretty. And I love the colors and I saved some of the colors because I really like this mix. So I'm just gonna try again. Thanks guys. <laughs>